A French scientist did a bra study for 15 years to figure out whether or not bras are healthy for women. Oh, okay. I'm sure See, that's I'm, what the, re the reasoning was. No, right? no, no, no. I'm calling it. Okay. This guy's a perv. I didn't know he was French, too. That's okay. Great. Oh, yeah. 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 15 years. Oh, I mess look at and messy the brass. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. There are two years is not enough. I must do it for 15 long years. Look and look and look at okay. those breasts. Okay. Considering, wait, I'm going to give him a little bit of credit, a little benefit of the doubt. Um, I, because of the nature of the study, I could understand why it would take 15 years, right? Sure. Because he wants yeah. to see whether or not um, you know, there are any negative consequences of not wearing a bra for a number of years. He wants okay. to see if they hold up over time. <laughs> that's true. That's literally. Not, that's literally what he did. <laughs> so uh, what he did, of course, he had the group that wore the bra, the group that didn't wear the bra, and what he found out is f for women who didn't wear the bra, over time they actually developed muscles in their breasts that naturally supported their breasts, so they didn't need to wear a bra. This is according to his study, and it's one study, and his sample isn't very representative, okay? So keep all of that in mind. Right. And, um, if, and if their muscles didn't naturally hold up the women's breasts, he would. <laughs> <laughs> um, so with the other group, he actually noticed that if you do wear a bra all the time, um, your boobs are more likely to sag faster because your boobs become dependent on that support. Okay, putting the kidding aside, he has contributed to science a little bit. You know, well, look, you know, if it's true, yeah. that's, you know, that's something to know. And if you care about sagging boobs later in life, it might affect you. And more women might go braless, and it's not such a bad thing. He's a, uh, he's a sports doctor. This yeah. guy, his name is Jean-Denis Roulon. Of course it is. Uh, he's 62 years old. He's totally amused by all the attention that he's gotten mm -hmm. from the study. <laughs> of course he's going to get uh, a lot of attention. He, 330 women, age 18 to 35. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Suggested yeah. that wearing a bra from early age does nothing to help the wearer's breasts and going cold could improve fitness. But he does say, it's not everybody. He's like, look, if you're a middle-aged woman, overweight, with two and a quarter, 2.4 children, uh, probably don't abandon the bra. <laughs> oh, that's what he said? Yeah. And plus, I'm not interested in having you in my study. <laughs> I don't want, plus, you can stay away from my study. Yeah. As related to this story, we found out today that there are um, people who manhandle your breasts for a living. What are they called? The bra oh, fitters? Oh, jeez. This conversation is ridiculous. So, um, Steve-O comes like running into the office while we're doing the production meeting. He's like, there are these people like that over like himself. grope yeah. the breasts when women are looking for bras, but that's not the case. You go to a lingerie shop, and by the way, I'm totally exaggerating what he did. <laughs> he did no, <laughs> you're actually no, not. No, you're not. Totally yeah, no, you're exactly. not. You're only a little. Of yeah. so, but so but wait, first of all, are there professional bra fitters or are there not? Yes, there are. Is that the best job it's, in the world or is okay, it not? Professional bra fitter is a weird way of putting it because it's not like they go to school and they like <laughs> learn how to accurately measure how breasts. How awesome would it be if they had that school? <laughs> all right, now we will learn how to measure bra, uh, uh, breasts uh, appropriately. And apparently, do they use their hands? They use a measuring tape, oh, measuring and tape. they oh. measure like you know the you know, how how I, I, big your chest is around, and, uh -huh. and, and you know they, they just make sure that they have the right measurements. That way, when you buy a bra, you buy the right size. Because a lot of women, the vast majority of women, actually don't wear the every, right bra size. Every woman I've been with has complained that a this bra no longer fits her. It was the wrong size. That's all. That's all. That's all you people talk about. Mm -hmm. um, that's it. Um, totally, that is it. Uh, no, I, what I understand is you and Steve's like really dumb fascination with the story beyond like, oh, I didn't know there were bra fitters. Like that was JR's point, which until he yeah. kept going on and on about it, was just fairly, except, right, you, but like, right, that I get like, oh, interesting, but of course there are. You got fitted for that jacket. Yeah. Wrong again, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, that's right. Yeah. Went to the rack and I was like, I think that kind of fits. Well, you get, you get normally if you buy nice clothes, you get fitted for those clothes. They measure yeah. your chest. They measure yeah. your inseam. Oh, no, that's happened sometimes. Right. That's they right. They measure your chest. They measure your inseam. That's all that happens here. I mean, this is, so they measure Yeah, but he's <laughs> understood. I'm sorry. Understood. But this is a part that maybe, of course, I, I accepted Anna's answer that women know about this stuff. Fine. But, of course, all women don't. As you said, every girl you've dated has been like, damn, this is sucks. So guys sometimes have to adjust themselves because their genes fit you a certain way. But there's no tailor. If we tell some woman, hey, you know, so my tailors uh, measured the size of my penis and then, then measured how my pants may cut into that. So I have to make sure since I lean to the left that that side gives me more room, they'd be like, this is amazing. And we go, 
Didn't know that. Pants are yeah. not because you don't have a penis. Are, you don't know that we have to maybe measure. It's, it's, like, it's so a lazy thing. Do pants support a penis? No, like, is that what just pants are for? This is a record. Tailors don't measure the size of your penis. <laughs> yes. okay. That's what I'm saying. No, no, it's, no, but it's like, just like, it would be amazing, amazing it's if a they false did. Equivalent. That's what I'm trying to say. It's a false equivalent. Your bre- breasts are very different. The whole purpose of a bra is to support your breasts. But it has to be comfortable. It has to be comfortable. Wrapped around your chest, they measure the size of. No, but it's it's a comfort level thing, right? And some pants are very uncomfortable, and you have to adjust yourself. All the time, others are more comfortable. It's one of the things you try. I don't know. Maybe you guys don't. When you try on pants, you're like, "Damn, this is uncomfortable." You don't oh, buy no, those. I know, pants. brother. What are we doing? Don't about? I know it? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Hey, by the way, is it weird? Jared's like every pair of pants I put on is so uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I buy the huge. I can't help it. It's just like, oh man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. By the way, is it me or everybody's tailor measures the circumference of their balls, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> okay, all right. Just I wanted to make sure I wasn't alone.